Uh, but I am confident. Every waking day since I assumed office 11 months ago, incidentally, today makes it 11 months, uh, every waking day it becomes clearer to me that these problems are not as technical as indeed they are man-made. And I will share some of the challenges with you as we go on. But I'm confident that we will overcome the problem. In addressing how we approach the problem, our ministry has designed what I think is an easy-to-communicate journey, a journey where we have identified the lack of power as the general problem. And when you don't have enough of something, the rational thing that people do is to go and get more. So the first phase of our journey is incremental power. And that phase involves getting all of the existing assets that are not performing, power plants that don't have gas to get gas, transmission lines that are not finished to finish, uh, generation plants that have uh, evacuation problems to be evacuated, maintenance of turbines that have been broken down, use all of the natural assets that we have other than gas, move to coal, move to solar, move to hydro, and do more of that to get power. So every unit of energy forms part of that first phase of our journey, incremental power. Getting to stable power will help us deal with some of the issues that have plagued our national economy. How many really are we? How much power do we need as a people? When is our peak energy demand and when is our off-peak energy demand? Should we produce a certain quantity because we are a certain number of people? Has our power need factored in all our telephones, the laptops we have acquired over the last 10 years? Who has the original and authentic audit of Nigeria's energy need? We hope to deal with that in the next census that we expect to commence sometime in 2017 so that we have a clear number of how many people really need power, how many people are getting it, and what is our deficit so that we can plan appropriately.